All right, friends. We are back to the web advertising. Uh, don't worry about the powtoon. We're going to talk about it in detail in put your learning to practice. I'm going to teach you how to create an ad, and in fact, I'm going to I'm going to create an ad for scrumptious indulgence to give you an idea on what points or on what touch points should you design an ad and then create one using powtoon, and also how you can uh, integrate it into your web page into your wix.com web page it's very easy no big deal okay so let's get back to the concepts and theories that we're working on right now okay so we have a page an html or hypertext markup language document that may contain text images and other online elements such as java applets and multimedia files and may be generated statically or dynamically okay depending on how you create that html is a web page click or ad click is a count made each time a visitor clicks on an advertising banner to access the advertisers website if you've ever been browsing on a web page and on any side of the page left right top bottom center anywhere you find an advertisement and you are uh, intrigued enough to try to check it out you click on the ad and you take it to the advertisers page now the number of times it happens at a you know in a given amount of time that determines the ad click okay so which means that how appealing or attractive that ad is that people are compelled to visit it even if they are not planning to visit the advertisers page <clears throat> then we have cost per milli i know i've covered this before but i'm just trying to re you know recap a little bit move a little bit back and then continue moving so CPM is the cost per milli that is thousand impressions the fee an advertiser pays for each 1000 times a page with a banner ad is shown okay so this is a fee that the advertiser pays then you have conversion rate the percentage of clickers who actually make a purchase so you have clickers who just go and check out and then you have from those clickers you have those that purchase so purchase the people who purchase they contribute to the conversion rate click through rate or ratio ctr this means it's the percentage of visitors who are exposed to a banner ad and click on it which means that their internet browser settings are not very um, you know the privacy settings are not very high and they are open to receiving ads and they click on the ads and they even uh, go towards purchase okay so how many people are exposed to advertisements hit a request for data from a web page or a file that's called that's called a hit okay so these are all interchangeable similar terms but they are certainly you know distinct uh, from a certain aspect you just need to try to read this again to get the hang of it it's not really a big deal it's just a description of all the behaviors that people do with the advertisements on the websites <clears throat> then you have a web advertising or visit a series of requests during one navigation of a website a pause of a certain length of time ends a visit so a series of requests during one navigation of a website Okay, or a pause of a certain length of time ends a visit. That's known as a visit. How long you visit a web page uh, that is uh, led by the advertiser. Okay, advertise, uh, advertise a message. Unique visit, a count of number of visitors entering a site regardless of how many pages are viewed per visit. So, depending on you know it's like a unique visit is doesn't matter how many pages they have visited even if they have visited none no none of the pages or they have visited all the pages they still feel like it out of the blue they want to visit the page so that's a unique visit stickiness is a characteristic that influences the average length of time a visitor stays in a site like they're so interested that they want to check out every single thing about the advertisement every single message every single thing they want to check out okay so and then you have 
web advertising advertising online and its advantages okay before i go to the advantages i want to tell you that all the features that we just discussed click and stickiness and ctr and all of these these uh, this information is gained through analytical software web analytical software they calculate all the uh, uh, you know observations and every single thing that they have the criteria is all set up and they just do the math and they give out or yield these values so you don't have to do anything all you have to do is install a software in your website that gives you all of this information google adsense if you want to check it out does all of these things please check out google adsense as an extra uh, line of practice here let me write it down here uh, it's called um, my message is check out Google AdSense. Okay, try this out. I'm going to highlight this here for you. All right, good idea. Check out Google AdSense. Okay, so uh, back to web advertising advantages. The cost is lower. Richness of format is higher like you're able to provide a lot of high quality music graphics animation interaction all of these things are at your fingertips or you know thanks to the progressive technology tools and uh, software that we have available then you have personalization that which means we've talked about this many times like uh, the purchases that are made at marker vip the, uh, the analytics are able to understand what kind of purchases I make and then they are able to show me or offer me to see similar pages. Then you have timeliness. Uh, the ad is displayed at a certain time. Okay. Then you have location based advertisement which we talked about before. It is not possible otherwise. Location based is like when you have the location uh, tab of your smartphone on and advertisers are able to send unique messages based on your timing and location proximity to that place and then you have linking linking your website with theirs through the ad images hyperlinked ad images then you have digital branding which is uh, so easy to create in an online environment you can extend it the extensible ads are extensible which means that you can uh, you have a variety of options you have a variety of outlets and multiple formats as well as uh, multiple social media platforms to advertise your images or your messages so the uh, spectrum is very broad in terms of online advertisement because why do i say that i mean think about it you could do an online advertisement even when you are in the mall on a kiosk, information kiosk, that's online. And then, you know, uh, you could have a big banner display in a big mall or in a big marketplace. For example, uh, have you seen the Times Square advertisement on the Times Square in New York? I mean, you'll be amazed the kind of ads that they show. These are all online ads. They they are they are monitored online. They are changed online. They are developed online, and they are uh, broadcasted in an online manner. So I mean, the possibilities are endless. The phones, uh, ads on the phone, ads through the applications, ads through any kind of website, or experience through the mobile phone. And then, of course, location-based through MMS, uh, and then WhatsApp ads. There are many, many ads available. Facebook, social media, any kind of Twitter ads, you can see them. So the, they're very versatile. Okay. So uh, if you, but if you try to compare compare traditional versus online advertisement, you'll be surprised. Okay. Major online advertising methods are major categories of ads are classified ads, display ads, interactive ads. Okay, classified ads are ads that talk about housing available, car available for sale, jobs available, or you know those websites Indeed.com, uh, Hire Hit or Hit Headhunter, 
all of these websites they if you hunt for one job then a lot of websites would try to find you that you're looking for a job we have job placements here so those are classified ads you know uh, ads that are created by through immediate community needs your community immediate community around you are trying to the demographics come into count here display ads are ads that show different uh, images that try to portray specific information about your ads about your business or your product then you have interactive ads in which you try out some kind of a software or you try out some kind of choices that leads to certain you know results so you do have interactive ads banner ads on a web page a graphic advertising display linked to the advertisers web page so if you go to any newspaper website we checked out that before for example the national.ae you're able to see banner ads okay check this out this is the local national it's called the national.ae okay are you able to see now okay and this is the banner ad by yasmol okay and if you click on this ad this is called a banner ad if you click on this ad you're able to say take a look at the facebook page okay of uh, the yas mall okay and they're trying to talk about the uh, events that are happening at the yas mall all right immediately it signs me in in my facebook page and you're able to see it all right okay so that's how you do the banner ad let me readjust the screen here all right this is much better so keyword banners are banner ads that appear when a predetermined word is queried from a search engine so uh, check this out if you have a free page here and I want to check out server side technologies okay and the ads that I see here okay this is all information based okay let me look for something more uh, for example travel okay there you go this is an ad okay Expedia travel travel cheap flights travel gives back okay trip advisor okay all of these are banner ads okay and especially the ads the uh, web searches that are they begin with add 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 here okay so these are known as the advertisements the keyword banners all right now, up next i have online advertising methods okay so you have random banners banner ads that appear at random not as a result of users action okay anything that come forward they're really really funny ads that come forward and some very un inappropriate ads that come to you without you trying to ask for it okay so those are the examples of random banners then you have live banners a banner ad that is created dynamically or whose content is created dynamically at the time of display instead of being pre-programmed with fixed content so this is all upon um, how you program the kind of javascript language that if you used based on users clicks and events they, that they generate through their behavior the program takes that information and then uh, changes itself uh, changes the algorithm changes the logic to display different kind of animation uh, it's like a smart programming interactive programming and it's not that difficult as it sounds it's possible so live banners are like that then benefits and limitations of banner ads well i can think of a lot of benefits if this was a live class i'm sure you all would be shouting you know banner ads are very attractive when you visit a web page especially if the web page is very credible for example the local newspaper the national.ae we believe in that paper the paper is famous and it is uh, you know uh, it's popular for its very uh, beautiful content that they have and you know great journalism so what happens is that if you see a banner ad and pages like these that are very you know credible web, web pages you tend to believe in that ad you know that the ad is not only authentic but it would be favorable to you in some way or the other so um, benefits are many 
it attracts the eye and you are able to also as an advertiser read a wide lead uh, reach a wider audience then limitations of banner ads well banner ads they do annoy sometimes okay especially if it's a random banner ad they annoy they prevent you from working they disrupt you they're disruptive and then sometimes they even uh, you know persistent and you have to go to your internet settings and then you know remove them from your list which is not fun okay because then you're actually preventing other cookies from coming to you you know other information coming from to your website so uh, and sometimes you know these banner ads uh, they feel like as if it's a virus or something so it becomes suspicious at the same time then another other kind of uh, online ads you have pop-up ad an ad that appears in a separate window before after or during internet surfing or when reading an email okay pop-up ads we all know what they are then you have pop-up under ad an ad that appears underneath the current browser window so that when the user closes the active window the ad is still seen on the screen i'm sure you've all seen that you're done working you close your browser and then you see something shining you've won one million dollars you know stuff like that which is all nonsense i believe but it happens all the time so they have a term and the special term is called pop-up under ad okay other kinds of um, online advertising include email advertising email marketing okay i'm going to make this the last page of this video and i'm going to continue in the next video i don't want the videos to get too long so you have email marketing a form of direct marketing which uses email as means of communicating commercial messages to an audience we've all seen those uh, you know what i'll just show you my email client here and these are the promotions okay paintball game with 200 balls i mean did i try did i tell them to send me emails no way i have all of these emails that are email marketing okay uh groupon shopping travel coupon deals equip blog yumly okay all of these are e examples of email marketing then you have email advertising and add adding advertisements to email messages sent to customers so the major advantages and limitations of email advertisement is that you know it most of the time the disadvantages it ends up in the spam box or ends up in an, another box okay so there is a risk that the user will never read your message okay and uh, then uh, major advantage is that if done beautifully there are many ways of doing an email advertisement one of the most common methods of doing email advertisement is to make it very personalized and to have a very good content grab the reader through the content and make it very make it very urgent and immediate and urgent the word urgent won't do you have to use a you know have a choice full a choice of words that create urgency in the reader so many ads like these they are they fail to reach the customer because they're not designed well but if designed well people do open up these ads and they do try to understand what they're trying to say implementing email marketing uh, email advertising is just what i explained try to think of the steps for you can google this easily try to think of the steps to create an email advertisement okay uh, in fact in put your learning to practice i will do just that i will create an email advertisement for my users and i will show you how you can create an an attractive email advertisement that will actually uh, have a conversion rate you know which means that i will have an active clicking to my website and i will also have people purchase the website some way or the other okay so let's work on this so two things we're going to cover in put your learning to practice powtoon and e email advertisement all right then guys i'll see you in the next video this chapter is about to end don't worry but this is a very important chapter technology-based marketing okay so see you shortly bye bye